Hi there, hope your Friday is going along nicely in spite of the weather. It has been one rough ride. We smashed winter weather records, uh, numerous records already uh, this January. And the worst of the winter weather is headed our way in the coming days. We've got a, a lot to talk about, a lot of hazards headed our way. We started out your Friday morning with a wind chill getting down to 31 below zero in Bowling Green on our Weatherbug network and a wind chill advisory in effect until 1 p.m. this afternoon. When that comes down, a winter weather advisory kicks in due to strong winds developing. Uh, later this morning into this afternoon, they're gonna gust to 40 and 45 miles per hour, and we're gonna see hazards with reduced visibility and blowing, drifting snow, especially out in the open country. It is uh, gonna be rough out there. So bitterly cold wind chills this morning, and then blowing and drifting snow with reduced visibilities as we get into this afternoon. We aren't done there. We've got an Alberta clipper headed our way overnight tonight into the day on Saturday. Accumulating snows, not that you'll be able to measure it because the winds will stay up. That snow will be blowing around, but we're looking at two to four inches by the time it wraps up midday on Saturday. And that's not our last snowmaker. Another one heads our way on Sunday, another one to three inches with wind blowing, drifting, reduced visibilities, uh, just a lot going on. Behind this clipper, as we get into early next week, the coldest air we've seen so far this winter season. It's waiting up in the polar regions. It heads our way and gets in here early next week. By Tuesday morning, actual temperatures falling into the double digits below zero. So bitterly cold this morning. Again, wind chills 20 and 30 below early. Uh, then as we get into this afternoon, we're going to get into that wind. The winter, uh, the wind chill warning will come down, or advisory comes down at 1 p.m. Then the winter weather advisory kicks in with winds gusting to 40 to 45 miles per hour, blowing, drifting snow this afternoon with reduced visibilities. And then the snow hits overnight. It's an Alberta clipper, widespread accumulating snow. Here we are, 3.15 a.m. on your Saturday morning, and the snow keeps coming until probably midday on Saturday, we're talking two to four inches of accumulation. And again, the winds will continue to uh, blow that snow around, drifting, reduced visibilities, tough to be out on the roadways. And then as we head through the overnight into the day on Sunday, here comes our second Alberta clipper, giving us uh, snowfall uh, pretty much on and off all day on Sunday. Behind that, air that's even colder than the polar outbreak early in January. Bitter cold, dangerously so early next week. So we're just going to get socked here. Winter's been a nightmare so far. It's been brutal. The worst of it's headed our way over the next four and five days. Windchill advisory again until 1, 1 uh, p.m. this afternoon. Now, as we get into uh, midday in the afternoon hours, those winds will start to really howl, gusting to 45. A winter weather advisory kicking in at 1 p.m. through 10 p.m. Saturday night because we'll see reduced visibilities with blowing and drifting this afternoon. Accumulating snows move in with that first clipper overnight, two to four inches by the time it wraps up Saturday afternoon. Winds continue to howl, more blowing and drifting. We'll get a little reprieve from the snow. Winds stay with us, very cold to start out Sunday. And then the next clipper heads on in here, another one to three inches. That will blow and drift around as well. And behind that, things quiet down, clear out, a lot of sunshine early into mid next week, but the coldest air we've seen in years, record smashing. It looks like 12 below the low Tuesday morning. Slow moderation of temps as we head towards the next weekend. And right now, this is uh, getting out to the end of the medium range models, but it looks like we could get above the freezing mark uh, or close to the freezing mark on Sunday, but it's looking like we could see some freezing rain, possibly an ice storm. Stay tuned on that, still a long way out. Really concentrate on the next few days. It's actually going to be dangerous to be outside due to the wind chills this morning, the blowing snow this afternoon, accumulating snow overnight and Saturday with wind, and then more of the same on Sunday. Then we get into brutal cold uh, next week. No wind, just plain uh, record smashing cold temps. So be smart, stay in if you can in the coming days. It's it's going to be rough being outside for any prolonged amount of time, and uh, driving is going to be a real hazard um, with the wind today and the accumulating snows and wind headed our way over the weekend. And then we'll have to deal with brutal cold. What a start to 2014.
Stay smart, stay safe. Thanks for joining us for your web forecast. I'm meteorologist John James.